Oh, look at this, you guys. <laughs> All right, this is some Warrior Cat's dreams that come to life. Oh, is that a kitten? Oh my gosh, I really, really, really hope in the new version of Cat Tales, Cat Tales Wildwood Story, we just might have a chance to be able to go ahead and have a bit of a legacy and really see what our kittens do, maybe carry on the next generation. But who knows, because it's a brand new story. And hello everyone and welcome to the demo of Cattails Wildwood Story. Yes, indeed, this is not Cattails the first game. This is the sequel to Cattails by Tyler, aka Falcon Develops, who many of you guys know from our very, very, very old series that we used to have with all of our Warrior Cats adventures and Warrior Cats the Untold Tales. And yes, because this happens every time we dive into our wild cat adventures, I want to reassure all of you who are going to be going like, what, Siri, you know Warrior Cats? Yes! <laughs> I think I've been reading the books longer than like a lot of you have been alive. So yes, I've been reading the books ever since they very, very, very first came out way, 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 way many years ago. I remember the very first book ever being released and the very first four books and now it's sprawled into a huge world that does include some of our own cattail adventures and our own warrior cat adventures. You can find tons of them here in our pixel biology community. In fact, our Sims 3 warrior cat series is one of my favorite things and the things I am most proud we have ever done and one of the things I sincerely truly hope if I can ever get Sims 3 working again I can bring to you guys again in the future but all of that said I am so happy that cattails is also having a successor because all of these these adventures with our wild cats have brought us so much joy and Tyler has really put so much of his life into like building up this amazing game that I sincerely loved and he brings so much of the excitement and the things that we love about those warrior cat stories into his very own games with cat tales which is not warrior cats but it is based around cat like colonies that live in the wild and do things so i'm very excited to see where the next era of these stories are going to take us so Welcome to the press demo for Cattail's Wildwood Story. This is a very early build of the game. There's plenty more features and content planned while the game is in development. Thank you so much for checking out our project. Please feel free to get in touch if you have any feedback. And so guys, this is the demo of the new game. And Cattail's Wildwood Story is actually going to be live now on Kickstarter. So you can go over to the Kickstarter. We supported the first Kickstarter of Cattail's and now we have its successor. I'm pretty excited to see what's going to happen. Like I have been actually just very lightly looking at all of the updates because I kind of wanted to surprise myself. So let's go ahead and start a new game. <gasps> oh, um, oh, I want to customize my kitty. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're absolutely going to go ahead and we are going to name uh, this kitty Mossy because actually if you have played Cattails, the cat Mossy, yeah, that was our cat. We we actually had that cat show up as part of backing the Kickstarter. Uh, well, do I want to have Mossy? No, you know what? I don't think I want to have Mossy. I want to have... Let me think about this. Uh, maybe I'm like... Here, we're going to have... A successor to Moss Leaf. Uh, and this one is going to be, hmm, Moss Flight, I think, because I'm really into birds lately. So we're going to have Moss Flight or Moss Feather. You know what? Moss Feather sounds the best. Dang it. This is always what takes me the longest with my warrior cat stories is picking what I'm going to use for the cat's name. And then let's change to, hmm, I want to change to, oh, a dark tortoiseshell. Oh, that'd be really fun. Brown tabbies. Oh my gosh. Light brown tabbies. Look at all of the different kitties. Oh my gosh. Siamese. Now I want to like go through and I want to figure out like all of the different cats that I've ever had and if I can recreate them with these colors. <gasps> Spots. Oh my gosh. I am such a sucker for calicos and for spotty animals. Oh, look at the white Bengal. You guys are going to be so happy. What? Oh my gosh. Yeah, you guys are gonna be so happy 
Because <laughs> look at this, you can actually change the like base and you can see all the different directions of your cat. You can now make any colored cat. Are you kidding me? <laughs> all right, this makes me remember when we used to do The Sims 3, uh, create a cat, create a pet and mixing it together your guys' warrior cats. This is so cool. You could totally make like an alien cat. Now I need to start working on all of our laboratory experiments again. Yeah, so yeah, you can apparently make like any kind of kitty you want. Oh, it even goes to the inner ear and the left ear and the right ear can be different colors. <gasps> what? Okay, that's awesome. We're going to go ahead and discard it uh, because we're going to make... I think I'm really in love with this Bengal. So you can wear it. And then can I go ahead and... Okay, you'd have to go ahead and like make a whole new coat. But that is so exciting. We're going to go with the Bengal. And then I'm going to change the eye color to a dark green. Oh, and you can change the left and the right eye to different colors. What? Okay. Can I? Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and apply that. Oh, here we go. So if you want to make them different... Oh, that's so cool. So let's make the left eye a light green and the right eye a darker green. Oh, that's really exciting. And you can have little accessories. I think you have to maybe, oh no, you don't have to unlock them. I thought you might have to unlock them, but we can have little flowers, glasses, whiskers. Oh, the whiskers are cute. That's really adorable actually, I like that. Okay, I, I can't believe I'm spending so much time just making the cat, but that's kind of like Warrior Cats is sort of a great series for people who love role playing and writing their own stories. And any of you guys who role play, please let me know in the comments. Like, don't you two also spend most of your time, like I'd say yeah, at least 40% of your time just developing the character. I feel like that's half the fun. Oh, you could do a little collar or a little bell. Oh, now I want to finish the first Cattails and then we can have our our like successor become the heir to a Cattails Wildwood story. This is so cute. All right, we're going to have a little white flower. I wish it could be a red flower, but that's okay. Uh, and then body type. <gasps> No way! You can have like short hair, fluffy cat, slender cat, large cat, short hair cat. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can do it on the face. Oh my gosh. Look, you can have fluffy, large. I'm going to have a large face. Oh my goodness. You can have small ears, big ears, huge ears. Oh, like that cat who looked like a mouse that we had in our animal shelter game recently little angled ears. Oh, you can even have torn ears or tipped ears or a missing ear. Oh my gosh. I think we're going to go have fluffy ears. You can have upward, down, there. Oh, fluffy tails. Short tails, stump tails, bob tails. Are you kidding? You can even have a curly tail or a little kinky tail. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to have a fluffy up tail. <gasps> There's cat voices. Oh no, that's too cute. Okay, that is way too cute. We're gonna have a really like high-pitched little cat because I'm gonna imagine she's super young and she's super fluffy and I love her. What is this moss feather? Why are you so precious? Now I wanna protect her with my life and, and cherish her. I've gotta go see what the Kickstarter is doing because I need to make sure that little moss feather here is gonna be fine. All right, so we're gonna have her birthday be... It looks like the days are 10 days long. So we're going to go with spring 6th because my birthday is March 26th. Uh, and now that I have spent forever just creating our cat, let's do this. Select your game difficulty and accessibility options. You can change these later anytime from the in-game pause menu. Um, so normal, you can also have hard impossible. Oh my gosh. Now I kind of want to try to see like if we could do generational things and like build our way up from kitten to easy to normal. Let's go normal just to see how things go. Uh, and then because I yammer so long, you can actually change how long each day can pass. So I'm going to make it go leisurely where it adds 50% to the day uh, or hundred percent to the day. Okay. How about relaxed 50% to the day? Uh, hunt mode, quick time, succeed with perfect timing, coin toss, a random chance of success, immersive, same as coin toss, uh, but no prey radius will be shown. All right, we're going to go ahead and go immersive. That actually sounds amazing. Random enemies. <gasps> Whether or not random roving packs of enemies will spawn throughout the world. Oh, and you can turn that off and on. That's so cool. 
Wow, that's really helpful for building the story you want. Oh! Once upon a time, three great cat colonies lived in a peaceful land until the Fire Nation attacked. For generations, they thrived, hunting the critters of the region and harvesting the fruits of the forest. Sometimes the colonies bickered and fought, but each of their leaders shared a respect for the spiritual mediator of their world, the Forest Guardian. Oh, that actually reminds me a lot of our Sims 3 Warrior Cats adventures and how we would have the forest spirits connected with each of the different cat clans. The word of the Guardian was law, and all cats revered them. From the sacred temple, the Guardian kept the balance over the cat lands, working for the benefit of all. The cats of the forest thrived. They played in the meadows and ruled over the hills. They built strong walls and gathered prey for winter. But one fateful day, calamity struck. In an instant, the temple was shattered. I mean, that looks like more than an instant. That looks like a, an earthquake and like a tornado hit at the same time. Oh, actually, yeah, look. A terrible earthquake tore the stones from their ancient resting places. A horrible rift was opened in the ground. Every cat shuddered with fear. Revenge of the squirrels. Worse than the destruction of the land was the fading of its guardian. With a weak voice, the forest guardian announced that the land was no longer safe for any cat. A new home must be found, and a new temple must be built, or else the guardian's spirit would not survive. Then the spirit of the guardian flickered and vanished. The frightened cats mourned and did not know what to do. A great meeting was called, and all the cats of the forest attended. Together, they deliberated long over what must be done. The decision was reached that each cat should choose for themselves a leader to follow and set out to find new lands to settle. Maybe some would have the strength to build a better life? You, Mossfeather, a cat of great renown, offer to, offered to lead a group into the unknown and build both a new home and a new temple. Soon cats from every colony took up your call. Once enemies, now united by a common cause, you all set out to find a patch of earth to call your own. But the wilderness is fraught with danger, and there are threats on all sides. What will become of your colony? Will you lead them into a prosperous new era? Will you find the perfect place to build a home? Only time will tell. Well, this is really exciting. It actually is set up to be a like perfect successor. <gasps> it's so cute. Look at all the plants. Oh my gosh. And once again, I mean, if we can build temples, I guess I can go ahead and be like, oh, we can have lamps too. This is so cute. What the heck? Oh, is this my den? I want, oh, it's my den. Oh, look. Wait, summon moldy? Oh my gosh. And then apparently... Oh, it's my storage. Okay, we're really smart cats. We're just, we're not every cat. We're not like, okay, summon Mulvey. I can use the bed. Use? As you gaze, you see an image of the skies appear. <gasps> Is that telling me just like in Stardew Valley, you can watch TV to like see what the weather's gonna be tomorrow. You can kind of be like, yeah, look, 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 it's actually weather. <laughs> All right, I clearly have some connection with the Forest Guardian. Thank you very much. Otherwise, I have no idea how we'd be able to go ahead and like have a scrying pool. And then Visions. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. This is so Stardew Valley meets like cats just in the forest. Kitten Detective, part one. Whisper Paul place in trouble. It's not easy living in Whisker, Whisker Polis. There are dangers around every corner, and the constant crimes are only one small part of that. That's why I became a detective, to help make things better. I'm the youngest private detective in the city, and I've yet to cut my teeth on any big cases. Sure, I've tracked down a missing pet turtle from an elderly couple and solved the mystery of why the water in the park fountain had that terrible odor, but none of those cases are going to make the news. I need to land something big. Whisk Whisker Whisker Paulus, there we go, is a city full of secrets. As I sit in my office, I stare down my collection of cold case folders and files. 
These are the mysteries the police department deemed unsolvable, but I'm convinced that if I spend enough time pushing, something's bound to move, eventually. Every surface in the office. Oh my gosh, this just goes on and on. Like, this is a deep vision. Maybe we're like living out the life of another cat. Every surface in the office is cluttered with papers, photos, and sketches from a dozen different cases. Maybe if I were a more organized detective, I'd have one of those red string and thumbtack cork boards you see in the movies. Not me. Oh my gosh, my concentration is shattered by a sudden noise. It's loud and I jolt up from my slouch position. The phone is ringing. That's odd. Nobody has ever called me before. I wonder who it is. All right, I'm going to say we're like seeing into another world. Whatever waits me on the end of the line, I get the feeling that my life will be forever changed. To be continued. What the heck? <laughs> oh, that makes me laugh so hard. I always kind of have a bit of a hiccup when you have these more wild situations mixed with like all this modern era stuff. But I think it's fair to say like we're living in a different kind of world. And I like the idea that this vision isn't even sharing this world. It's a vision of like another universe, another cat somewhere out there. What kind of wisdom can we get? While you stare into the depths, you can hear kindly voices calling out to you with words of wisdom. Hello, Moss Feather. How are you? I'd like to tell you more about hunting today. Oh, this is almost like having Star Clan go ahead and give you some visions. Cats everywhere should be grateful for the abundance of prey in the wilderness. Mice, squirrels, fish, birds, and more all bring nourishment to our bodies and should be respected for the critical role they play in our lives. To catch a meal, you must first begin sneaking. While sneaking, when sneaking, you will crouch and stay low to the ground. Your movements will be slowed so that you do not make any noise that could share off a cautious critter. Use your nose to sniff out the nearest animal and approach with care when you see them. Prepare to pounce by continuing to move closer, but be warned. If you get too close, your presence will become known and your quarry will scurry away. Use your wits as you go and happy hunting to you. Oh my gosh, and then there's even news? Good morning, cats of the Guardian Colony. It is 8.10 a.m. in Spring 1 Year 1. Today is the first day of spring. Happy New Year to all. There's plenty of prey running around now that the snow is gone. That's all the news I have for now. I'm signing off. Thanks for watching. Oh. My. Gosh. <laughs> I can't believe how many things that was. Oh, like, that's just... What? Oh, well, good. And look, I can I can kind of like jump and run. Oh, that's very helpful. Oh my goodness. And then there's like different music. So I guess you can collect records. That'll be really interesting to see. Um, let's see. And then here's a calendar. You can see my birthday. There's a spring festival, just like in Cattails. It looks like there's a festival at the end of every season, which works out pretty well. Cats are busy creatures after all. Oh my goodness. So I have full health and I think full hunger right now. Oh yeah, and a mailbox. We made it. Hello, Moss Feather. Well, we've finally arrived. This is our new home now. Isn't it amazing? Let's all do our part to ensure our success now that we've chosen a spot to settle down. I could be more excited to see what's in store for all of us. Sincerely, Coco. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Like, okay, so we are not just, oh, hey, it's Coco. Coco, how are you? Clearly we are cats in an alternative universe that have the ability to kind of build things, but also retain most of our wilderness. And look, there's cherry blossoms. Oh, I wish I could catch it. <gasps> and a quest board. I am a sucker for quest boards. Coco, how are you? Oh, whoa, Coco. Look at you. What art, what fanciness. Moss Feather, I've been hoping to catch you. I just want you to know that if you ever need to carry out any sort of administrative task, I'm your cat. Come talk to me if you want to manage the colony, and I'll help get everything sorted. Now then, did you have something important to discuss? Oh, how fun! Okay, so like, basically Coco really wants to just like, keep the colony working well. The citizens of our proud colony deserve every possible advantage. That's why we've got to make our claim as strong as possible, and fast. Okay, so claim, I guess that means because we need to claim territory to kind of have more area that our cats can gather resources in than the other colonies. Can you tell me more about the colony details? You want to manage the details of the colony? What do you have in mind? <gasps> oh, look at this, what? You can, oh my word. 
Commandered? Okay. So you can change, like, the leader tile. I can be governor, commander, captain, overseer, chief, warlord, boss, monarch, king, queen. I could be queen, moss feather. Oh, my gosh. Regent, president, prime minister, chancellor, foreman, director, uh, lord, lady, empress. I'm, I'm empress, moss feather. That's what I'm going to do. And we can have this be... We could randomize... Uh, actually, I kind of want to randomize the P.S. Colony, the Maelstrom Colony, Sinister Colony, Obsidian Colony. This feels like Woodland Colony. This feels like naming my horses in Star Stable. <laughs> Vortex Colony, Sky Colony, Timberland Colony, Galaxy Colony, Volcano Colony, Hidden Colony, Jungle Colony, Meadow Colony. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to go with... I'm really, I'm excited that you can basically customize your own colony. That actually really appeals to me. Um, we're going to go with the wildflower colony. All right, let's actually go with the wild, wild leaf. We're going to go with wild leaf colony because that sounds cool. I love anything that has like the word leaf in it. And then you can have wild leaf kingdom. This is now wild leaf kingdom. Behold, you are under the auspice of, of, Ooh, 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 I really like that leaf shape. I wish it was green. You are now under the auspice of Wild Leaf Kingdom. I didn't know that I was, oh, ha, ha, there we go. Little tree at 20, got it. I didn't know that today I was going to found, uh, ooh, 27's good too. My very own colony. I think we're gonna go with 27. There we go, Wild Leaf, apply changes. I am now Empress Mossfeather, behold. Yes, I will now be known as the Empress of Wildleaf Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. That is the way things should be. I didn't know I was going to found a cat kingdom today, but I have. And I kind of love it. And let's do our best with it. Fliss. Oh, you must be the Empress that everyone has been talking about. My name is Fliss. I am happy to make your acquaintance. That's right, I'm the Empress. Together, my sibling Lainey and I will do everything we can to make the kingdom proud. I promise you that. I had no idea how cool that immersion would be. And now that we've done it, I am never going back. Speaking of Lainey, you should go to meet them too if you haven't already. I'm sure that they would be thrilled to get to know you. You seem busy. I'd hate to waste the time of such an important cat. Surely there are more pressing matters to attend to? Oh my gosh. Oh, and there's going to be little notes coming soon. This is so cool. So we can come over and say hello to Lainey. Lainey, oh my gosh. Hey, who are you? I'm Lainey. Lovely to meet you. Oh my gosh, Lainey, I love your face. I don't know if you've met Fliss yet, but we're siblings from the same litter, as a matter of fact. That's why we look so alike. Lots of cats get, get us mixed up, so don't feel bad if you do too at first. Do you ever spend all day looking at the clouds? I convinced Flish to watch the clouds with me one day. They said they were studying them for meteorology, which doesn't even make sense because there weren't any meteors. Meteors only come at night anyways, but I enjoy watching the clouds. I saw so many plants and animals in them. My favorite was one that looked just like a trout. Okay, I love, love, love lady. That's so cute. And then Talon! Whoa, Talon! Whoa, who are you trying to sneak up on me? Who are you? Oh, you're Moss Feather. I've heard about you. Fair warning. I advise you to try to stay on my good side. I don't like sneaks. I may be elderly, but that doesn't mean I'm useless. Go ahead and try me in a fight. Uh, let's see who wins. Anytime, any place. Oh, the personalities of these guys are just absolutely fantastic. I love this. I, I shall behold my kingdom. It's Crampy! You guys, Crampy's still here! And look, he's got a moss-covered science den! I love this so much! I had no idea I wanted this so badly in my life, but I really do. Like, this this successor to everything that we saw in Cattails, I legitimately didn't know that I was going to be so deeply in love. There we go. Oh, he's got a scrying pool. He's got mushrooms all over the place. Yeah, I legitimately didn't know I was going to be so in love with all of this. And all the little details and the pixel art. Oh, I am the whole crampy. It is your empress speaking. I had hypothesized that you would come say hello. Yes, I was off by a few hours, but I'm still refining my method. By the way, I'm a doctor, not a bird. I know, the mask can be a bit misleading. My apologies. Surely you already know that about me. I find it helpful to remind everyone from time to time. It's ever so easy to forget. If you are ever badly hurt or in need of a remedy for any malady, I'm your cat. Now then, Mossfeather, what might I be able to do for you? 
I would be delighted to welcome you into my personal quarters, Mossfeather. It's a great honor to sit in one's home with the Empress of Wildleaf Kingdom and chat for a spell. Oh my word. All right, you guys. I'm clearly in love already. We've barely begun to patrol my empire, but there are other cats that we are going to go ahead and meet. Look at all the different dens they have. There are flowers that the Empress doth decree she might need to go ahead and spend some time rolling around in and napping in, of course. As Empress of Wildleaf Kingdom, uh, that is my, mm, mm, indeed, that is my privilege. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. All right, and this is literally just the very, very, very bits of the demo of what is going to be offered. And we will continue to explore more of it and look at, there's a cat named Garlic. There's legitimately a cat named Garlic. I love that. And we will explore what else we'll be able to do through the Kickstarter as well to kind of discover what is going on with the different cats, what the future of the game has planned, the new features that are going to expand upon what Cat Tales had to offer next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Moss Feather and of course Wildleaf Kingdom. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But for now, the queen doth need a nap within these flowers and I shall see you guys next time. Bye-bye!